Can I say for here? Hi everyone, welcome back to Intuition, where we go behind the scenes of academia to figure out what students really care about. And today I'm your co-host Pauline, in my fourth year studying economics at UBC. And my name is Tristan, and I'm a recent graduate here at UBC. So without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about student health and what that really means to us as students here on campus. And one thing that we really wanted to find out is, is student health actually a myth? Because, you know, when you think about it, a lot of people have this image of health as going to the gym, eating five pieces of fruits and veggies a day. And but for a lot of people, that's not feasible, especially a stressful time like this with finals and with other personal things coming up. So we really wanted to dig deep and go out into the streets and interview people, um, students such as us to find out if they're living a healthy lifestyle and what are the what are the barriers to that and so we also in- included the um, help of Yadu to help us with that and after that we come back to the studio with Yadu to debrief and have a, an enriching conversation of what students really feel about health so now we head to the streets to hear what students have to say all right thank you guys for doing this today and we're just gonna ask you two questions first one is um, do you think you have a healthy lifestyle uh, yeah I think I do uh, I eat healthy I train and I meditate so these are the things uh, I do that keep me in a good um, mindset and like just go keep up going hard work and going through my days and what about whenever you don't get the chance to be able to do those things like go to the gym do you kind of feel less healthy when you don't get a chance to actually take those steps that you usually do um, I, personally I just make sure like I do these things like I try not to skip them it's like part of my everyday life because this is what keeps the stress low for me helps with school and all the responsibilities so like it's like I have to do it every day it's like it, it's not a must it's like something I actually enjoy so mm-hmm. it's like not hard to for me to like even half an hour in the gym or like 10 minutes to meditate is like it's worth the, the time and so uh, I make sure I do them and okay. stay healthy. So thanks for coming on. Um, so the question is, are you living a healthy lifestyle at this moment? Not exactly. Uh, I mean, it's not dramatic, but mainly the fact that I don't really practice sports out of lack of time. And also the fact that I don't really cook much for myself anymore. Um, both those factors make it so that I wouldn't say I lead a healthy lifestyle. Uh, yeah. So why do you face those barriers? Uh, why can't you cook a little bit more or exercise a little bit more? What are some of the main barriers in your way? Um, well, um, I think mainly lack of time, also lack of motivation. When I come back from class after a hard day's work, uh, all I want to do is uh, either cook up something that's pre-prepared, so not something that I do myself, so obviously less healthy, and sit down and watch Netflix turn my brain off uh, which is the opposite of what a healthy lifestyle is about, I think. Um, but yeah, mainly academia just makes it so that I don't have time for myself, or I feel like I don't. Uh, maybe I just don't manage my time well. That's entirely possible. Hmm. Yeah, we have a podcast on time management, so you should check that out. <laughs> okay, yeah, I will. <laughs> Thank you so much. So thanks for coming here. So um, do you live a healthy lifestyle at this moment? Um, I would say I live... Um, I live probably the healthiest lifestyle that I've lived um, at UBC so far. Not to say that I'm healthy in all respects, but um, maybe in terms of mental health stability, I, I've kind of I've had a windy road of figuring out how to how to keep that a priority. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think I've I found a few keys that like I'd be very willing to share. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. So what are those keys? Okay. So for me, at least, the keys have involved um, getting myself um, active in a community setting, mm-hmm. um, um, not just at UBC but also off campus, meeting people of all different age groups. I think at UBC we kind of get stuck in. In, not stuck, but we just have a lot of 20-year-olds all with the same issues and the same 
fun things happening but um but being students or being international or not international you just you don't have old people around you you don't have babies around you Mm -hmm. and um so yeah so getting involved in communities there's so many different communities that meet like once a week to do activities that they like so um yeah maybe if i'm a bit more specific um there's there's music groups if you're interested in like drumming Mm -hmm. or there's trying to think there's like outdoor activity groups who Mm -hmm. get together and it's more of a vancouver thing than like a ubc thing Mm -hmm. that's when you get to meet people from all walks of life Mm. and that can really freshen your perspective yeah yeah Yeah. all right thank you so much so thanks for coming on um are you living a healthy lifestyle right now uh currently i would say no because i have a midterm coming up but uh generally uh it fluctuates depends again like when exams are and things like that but um yeah there's like a balance for sure that i try and stay close to over the course of the semester for sure so is school like the only barrier that's preventing you from living a healthy lifestyle um probably not there school is definitely probably the biggest factor but also um financial you know, stress and things like that, having to work, having to pay for things that you, um, or having to do things that you could normally pay for if you had the money, uh, tuition, things like that, and just, yeah, general living situation and rent and and all the bills. So (laughs) they all add to stress, uh, physical stress, but also obviously mental, emotional, all that, so. I definitely agree with that. Well, uh, thank you for coming on. Sure. So, guys, welcome back to the studio, and we're with Yadu again. Do you want to say hi? Hey. (laughs) (laughs) And um, yeah, so we're back to just debrief about kind of the things that we learned from talking to students Mm -hmm. uh, because we got a variety of different answers. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Because, you know, the question that we asked was pretty broad, right? It was, Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. what are some of the barriers that you're having to maintaining a healthy lifestyle? And it pretty much involved uh, students engaging with the question to themselves, which is, well, what is health? What is healthy to me? And Mm -hmm. is there a standard for what should be considered healthy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And... Like, what were some of the answers that stuck out to you? Some of the things that stuck out to me were when thing, students were talking about things other than the typical, oh, I go to the gym X amount of times a week, mm-hmm. or, oh, I eat X amount of fruits and X amount of vegetables mm-hmm. um, per day, you know? Yeah. Um, for example, one of the students that I spoke with was talking about um, futsal and the need for more intramural sports activities, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. So, and he was talking about the value of, like, team building like you release so many happiness hormones <laughs> when you're playing team sports mm. and you know mm-hmm. having a good time mm. with your friends yeah. so yeah. i think that that's just as equally healthy yeah. hey, but you um, know what i found out too when we were out there interviewing students that m- many of the students don't live a healthy lifestyle interesting yeah, yeah yeah so we were we were really shocked and you know you walk around campus as a bystander now like i walk around campus and you know i see a lot of you know happy students Mm -hmm. you know like they're in a lot of social settings and a lot of them to me seem physically fit you know Uh not to say like you know they're ripped or anything or you know in well Uh proportion but like they seem that they're you know they seem very healthy Uh so it was really interesting to know that many of these students don't feel healthy don't feel yeah what do you what do you think about that too oh no i'm actually curious to know in what ways were they not healthy yeah so like some of the students they mentioned how um you know, it's March, it's uh, it's exam season, uh, there's a lot of mental stress, there's mm-hmm. also a lot of financial limitations that are preventing them from, you know, achieving, you know, their objectives, right? Getting, mm-hmm. you know, finding healthy foods that they could eat on campus. Okay. Uh, even, even having the, the accessibility to go to the gym and work out, have a regiment, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, many of these students too, that health, the concept of health meant like being physically fit, okay. you know, and they don't have the accessibility to do that nor do they feel like you know they're they're just healthy in general there's a lot of mental limitations like i mentioned with you know budgeting and you know you know financial means of like you know limiting you yourself yeah Yeah. definitely yeah i think uh, it makes it hard when um you might have maybe uh, a definition of health that you know you do not ascribe to so i think Mm -hmm. what really is important is 
defining what it means to you and mm. you know how you can go about it mm. you know mm. maybe going on a 100 organic raw vegan <laughs> diet mm-hmm. you think is very healthy but you know maybe buying those superfoods is out of your budget you know mm. so yeah. i think um that really uh ties to the importance of just doing like top level preliminary research on you know certain health habits that you would like to incorporate in your lifestyle and i think it's not one of those things where it has to be like all or nothing mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. i think that it's something that can be like a work in progress or like you know you try out different things that's uh, definitely an approach that i've liked to take over the years yeah yeah mm-hmm. what stuck out to me about what you said at first talking to the guy that wanted to when it um ubc to have some more like intramural all, yeah. uh yeah um i think what stuck out to me was like you were saying that he enjoyed the social aspect of it and i think that's something that we also have to be mindful of Mm -hmm. as students like social well-being is also part of your health and i know you said tristan that a lot of people seem happy and stuff but i feel like that's a misconception Mm, um with students because i think like I mean, I'm not trying to generalize, but just from like conversations I've had, mm-hmm. like all that stress, yeah. after a while, you just like sometimes don't even want to be around people, you know? Oh, okay. You yeah. just feel like you, you're you like dealing with stuff by yourself. And it's and isolating. It's isolating, uh-huh. yeah, for sure. And it's kind of like you, I feel like you just sort of to go, go in within yourself and mm-hmm. start to overthink things and... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Having that social, like stepping out and having that social interaction, I think is a, very important very with valuable, yeah. with uh, being a healthy student. No, you know, mm-hmm. I completely agree. You know, mm-hmm. and over uh, my f- years at UBC, <laughs> mm-hmm. I have uh, you know uh, discovered and tried out a number of different gyms, from like mm-hmm. Steve Nash in Yale Town to Gold's Gym at the Village, and even like traveling, you know, to my mm-hmm. home countries. I've tried out really beautiful gyms because I enjoy gymming. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. I've tried out a number of different ones, but to this day in my 22 years of existence (laughs) bird coop is still my favorite gym Mm. why it smells terrible (laughs) it's like overpacked oh Um, wait sorry bird coop is the um ubc UBC subsidized Mm. gym yeah yeah Mm -hmm. um very affordable for students (laughs) Mm -hmm. anyway so i mean for that reason as well it's very packed and people Mm. are like why do you go to bird coop all the time or why Mm -hmm. is it your favorite gym right you might Mm -hmm. ask but for me it's not just about going there and having a great workout mm-hmm. or like, you know, trying to be consistent and just putting in a workout anyway. Mm-hmm. But it's about going and seeing like familiar faces, doing mm-hmm. that head nod with that guy whose name like you don't know, but you've seen him <laughs> yeah, there yeah. for like two, three yeah. years anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's almost like exactly what you were saying, like, you know, that mm-hmm. sense of community, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. having like familiar faces. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah fun conversations with people yeah. that you feel comfortable with. Yeah. And hey, but you know what's like funny, Yadu? Like, you, you know, you're one of the exceptions because okay. In the sense that you're, you know, you're able to go to the gym, like you said, when you go back to your home country, you love gymming as well. And not many students, including myself, this mm-hmm. is very personal too, have that opportunity, especially when you're working, when you're trying to manage your schedule, uh-huh. to make time and designate time to go gymming and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's really hard. You know, I feel like sometimes I'm left out of that narrative of, you know, quote unquote, being healthy because okay. the concept of health, especially in Vancouver, as you know, like uh-huh. it's very active. It's, it's gymming, the gymming culture, the lifestyle, the gold the gym, the yoga, yoga yeah. you know, and for me, you know, I am I consider myself fairly healthy. Right. Uh-huh. But I'm, you know, I'm not like a bodybuilder or anything, but I, I, you know, mentally, you know, spiritually, you know, I try to strive for health. But like there are a lot of limitations to me not going to the gym a lot or even eating healthy consistently, uh-huh. right? Yeah. And, well, um, I feel like that really ties down to, to the mm-hmm. definition of health that we were speaking about earlier. You know, like for you, if uh, you define being healthy as going to the gym and that's not an action you're taking, mm-hmm. then you're going to define yourself as unhealthy, you know. But um, that's why I was, uh, you know, from speaking to students and from my own experience, learned that what's important is to come up with a definition of health that is conducive to you that enables you to do what you want you know for example Mm -hmm. being healthy might be playing a team sports every day a week or maybe a few times a week you Mm -hmm. know it might be just going uh on the treadmill at home or around you for a few minutes it might just be going for a jog it might be um you know what, whatever yeah, <laughs> yeah. like the sky yeah, is really definitely. the limit I yeah. don't, don't want to yeah. go ramble yeah. of options but yeah. I think it's just choosing something that you enjoy mm-hmm. and incorporating that in your daily life because yeah. you know um, especially as students when we're hitting times like you know end of March early April and everything is due it can mm-hmm. be so isolating as Pauline said to just like wake mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. sit in front of your computer 
uh, grab a, whatever food you find to fill your stomach, go back to your computer, mm-hmm. and then just go to bed at night. You know, but like, mm-hmm. is that really uh, the life you want to live? Not mm-hmm. necessarily like, is that really the life you want to live? But is that really the best you can do for yourself? Not only in terms of your health and your food, but also in terms of your academics and mm-hmm. your personal well-being. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I find that you know, you it's important for everybody to do something mm-hmm. in a day. Um, that releases that stress whether it's you know going to the gym or even like interacting with some friends yeah. um, for whatever time that's possible yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and for me like before i started doing things like going to the gym and stuff mm-hmm. i tried to include like incremental things into mm-hmm. my routine like mm-hmm. i used to do like seven minutes like videos on youtube yeah. just like every day hit videos high intensity yeah yeah. but then like i feel like even that might be a lot for somebody you Mm. know like Mm. yeah you might not think that it is because Mm. like i always tell yadu that he's the anomaly but (laughs) but if you're realistic Mm. a lot of like i'm not trying to generalize again but some students i would say even that is like too much Mm -hmm. but if you start off with something like i think it's all about like say setting a goal like what you want for yourself Mm -hmm. and being realistic so if at first you're the type of person right now that is dealing with a lot of stress you don't know Mm -hmm. how to cope with that i think first starting off with maybe something like meditation every day you know maybe it doesn't have to be like a a physical activity Mm -hmm. if you're spiritual maybe a prayer or something like that Mm -hmm. start off with being healthy within yourself Mm -hmm. because that also translates like i know Mm -hmm. like um stress like actually adds to you like like gaining weight and yeah, stuff like can, that yeah, like mess up your hormones yeah. yeah so if i feel like if you take that first step of de-stressing mm-hmm. then the other things can follow you feel yeah. like you have more time to yeah. or, or more energy or even more like motivation to exactly. do other things that add to your yeah. healthy lifestyle yeah. mm-hmm. you know pauline earlier just brought up an interesting point where like you really cater to your inner self your mind everything uh-huh. your spirit and it can manis- manifest itself physically right mm-hmm. so we got to also be aware of the environment you know in which we're in here at, mm-hmm. on campus at ubc yeah, yeah. i want so i want to ask you a question do you think ubc actually really promotes a healthy lifestyle healthy lifestyle and makes it easier and accessible for students Mm -hmm. you know i think it is it's something i actually brag about all the time with Mm -hmm. my Mm -hmm. non-ubc friends which is that um you know there are so many uh places on campus where you can get involved uh you know to uh, get physically active you know whether it's going to the gym or enjoying some kind of sports club or even i think in residences they have like you know uh, some events like uh, I can't remember the names. It's, it's been a while now, you know. Yeah, but yeah. sometimes where people would just go on jogs together, you know, and do activities. I think it's very endemic to the mm. culture in Vancouver. Um, mm. And actually, maybe that's why I've become an anomaly because <laughs> in like trying to fit in, I'm like, okay, like yeah. let me just learn as much as I can yeah. from from my environment. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, so let's talk about the everyday student though. So imagine a student who is so o- overwhelmed, you know, with so much studies mm-hmm. that. You know, they don't really have time to go for a jog or, you know, go to a a healthy grocery store and pick up some good, you know, meals or whatnot. But, you know, like, you know, they're going to think to themselves, okay, I have a time crunch. You know, I'm walking around the nest and there's not really, in my own opinion as well, there's not many really healthy restaurants Mm -hmm. or food places around campus. So, you know, and if they are, they're expensive, they're very expensive. So, you know, they're on a time crunch. Okay, I see something here. I'm going to go there and get it. It could be a hamburger. It could be triple O's or whatnot. It's triple O's Tuesdays, you know. Is that okay, do you think? Is it feasible? No, regardless of what they're going through right now, is it okay for them to eat whatever they can at that moment, you know, to treat themselves, to make them feel, you know, better or whatnot? But also, like, to going back to what I was saying, you know, there's not many really healthy foods on campus, and like Polly mentioned, if there are, they're entirely expensive, right? Mm -hmm. And you mentioned some... uh, some healthy food places yeah. on well, campus. Well, you were just saying uh, mm-hmm. something about, you know, uh, is it okay to just have something uh, if it's going to make you feel good? You mm-hmm. know, and I feel like what makes you p- feel the best mm-hmm. is when you are integrated to what you think is right. Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. if you think that eating triple O's Tuesdays yeah. every day of the week yeah. is like the right thing for you to do and that it's going to make you feel good mm-hmm. all the power to you I can guarantee you you will not feel okay mm-hmm. you know like it's <laughs> yeah. practically toxic yeah. there's no way you can be yeah. selling Yo, I definitely agree with that, that too I definitely like, agree. You know? yeah. 
Um, yeah, yeah. So, I, and I think that students actually do know like what's healthy and what's not, and mm-hmm. that they would actually like enjoy eating the healthy things more because of how they would feel after, especially. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but but what I'm trying to engage here is like yeah. the practicality of it all, right? Yeah. Just finding something that is healthy, and uh-huh. I totally agree with you. Obviously, eating triple O's every week is not going to do wonders for you. Just going and finding something that's financially accessible but also healthy. You know, like what do you think, Pauline? Do you think that's doable? Or I mean, so my thing is like, I feel like you know, there's different kinds of students. Like, mm-hmm. I think I'm like somewhere in the middle where like say I like to go to the gym like I actually enjoy it but when I first started like I started during the summer um and it was a time I was actually on co-op so I had more time I wasn't doing any courses I would Mm. work nine to five and then after and I worked on campus for my co-op so after my office was like five minute walk away from the gym and then I had because I was like a lot more financially stable i had the means to be able to even get a personal trainer with my friend Mm -hmm. and so that's how i started off Mm -hmm. and then as i was um going on with that um it kind of became part of my routine and then so i continued and i had built it in enough for me to be able to continue even while i was at school but again still i'm not the type of person that would go like I used to go five days a week. Now, like, I barely go three times a week. Mm -hmm. But I do want to, and I feel that guilt when I don't. And also, Mm -hmm. I'm someone that doesn't like to cook. I don't enjoy cooking. Uh So it's a chore for me. And then the fact that I have to cook healthy food, Mm -hmm. which is also more expensive, is another barrier for me. Mm -hmm. And so, but I, I still have it within me to still strive for that because I had built it into my routine Routine. and into my mentality when I had more time, practical time, more access to funds to be able to fund that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's more part of me now. But then if you're looking at someone who's just like, say a first year student, and I know we said, Oh yeah, the cafeteria food is healthy, but I live close to orchard commons, a first year resident. And when I go in there, most students go to the burger place. Uh-huh. When they when there's um like they have specialty right. food, it's mm-hmm. like pork loin, mashed potatoes, and then like the healthier options are like the stir fry. The stir fry place is like hardly ever open, mm-hmm. by the way. Mm-hmm. And also there's like burritos and like salads. But then it's like also when you're eating those same things every day, yeah. students get tired. I know a lot of my international friends like were like, okay, can we get it like a switch up, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you're either getting like a quinoa bowl or some burrito that you've had like for the past five days, mm-hmm. you know? So... I think all those things, when you think about it, they start to add up. And then you have the stress of your classes, Mm -hmm. um, stress of social relationships Mm -hmm. as well. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go into a place where you're like, well, at this point, food, healthy food is the last thing on my mind. Mm -hmm. It's triple O's Tuesdays is cheaper. I'm going to go swipe my card and get me a Mm -hmm. $3 burger. (laughs) Um, So I think, when you think about it like that Mm -hmm. there's like these two sides and then it i don't think it helps as well when like you're bombarded with all these messages of Mm. oh yeah being healthy is having all these greens three times a day and blah 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 and go to the gym oh by the way it's subsidized so that means you can go every single day if you want i mean yeah there's all those things and people do know that Mm. but still like to find it within yourself to actually take those actions i think it starts from within Mm. and yeah you know yeah you have to first build that internal will to be able to action it can i I say something real quick a lot of self-love you know like even to be able to like build a routine daily you Mm -hmm. know Mm -hmm. to be able and do the things that you that you value Mm -hmm. um it takes a lot of love for yourself because there's Mm -hmm. no one to hold you accountable for it right you know with your schoolwork or you know with your work if you have a part-time job you know uh you are accountable to other people as well but to do things that you know really benefit you uh mm-hmm. really invest in yourself take takes a lot of self-love and it, it can be harder at sometimes yeah I, I can relate to that mm-hmm. yeah but i think it's also important to realize that for some people like those drastic steps aren't their first priority mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like 
I think one of the girls on like what that we're interviewing, she was talking about like the fact that she has to pay her tuition and her rent and then bills. So when all those things are compounded, like you're like in the grand scheme of things, my healthy lifestyle can take a back burner because it's not super important for me exactly. right now as a student. Yeah. I need to be able to earn a living after university mm -hmm. and if i'm thinking and stressing myself about the fact that i and making myself feel guilty about the fact that i didn't go to the gym today or i didn't have five pieces of apples then i you know i'm gonna stress myself out and i'm not gonna be able to focus on the task at hand which is getting good grades working and getting that experience mm -hmm. to be able to graduate and g get a good job mm -hmm. then maybe after that when i'm set up then i can feel like i have more of a means to you know yeah. take on a healthy life so like the, the dynamic right now is what is more of a priority for students yeah. what are what are we trying to balance are we going to put health to the back burn or uh -huh. it's it's really complicated it's a complicated yeah. dynamic I, you know? I, I understand yeah i know yeah. what you mean mm -hmm. yeah you know it can be really hard it is what students value mm -hmm. um for me uh, especially over the years, health has become my number one mm -hmm, priority. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, I think that anything else in my life can mm -hmm. take a back burner, you know, mm -hmm. if, it, if it needs to come to it. You know, which doesn't necessarily mean doing all 101% of the things that, you know, fall under my uh, idea of a quote-unquote healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But it's about, um, firstly, loving myself enough to um, consider the best for myself if that makes sense, mm -hmm. in the food choices that I make and in the time that I allocate for myself to, you know, maybe move with my body mm -hmm. and things like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think definitely loving yourself is very important. Mm -hmm. um, and to get there even is also a journey. Mm -hmm. So, like being fully comfortable with your inner self mm -hmm. and maybe it's not realistically something that a lot of people have achieved in their life mm -hmm. and that's okay as long as like it's a journey that you're embarking on yeah. mm -hmm. um so yeah with that i would just say that sometimes living a full-on quote-unquote healthy lifestyle that society you know you know that has painted this picture of is somewhat of a privilege mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Um, and it's not something that a lot of people have access to, but I will say that it's something that everyone should do a bit of research on and find something that they can incorporate yeah. in their everyday life as a routine. And once you're building that, then that's how you move from yeah. the level to level. Mm -hmm. yeah, you nice. just have to, consistently put yourself in that mind yeah. frame you know it's so easy to feel guilty like Polly health mentioned well. you know yeah. when you're, when you're <laughs> not doing a routine well. yeah health as well when you're not doing a routine and you just fall back for one day it's so easy to fall into that guilt trap you mm -hmm. know but like you yeah. said you know you got to get in that mindset there you go. most importantly yeah. you know yeah so it's good okay well i think we had a very good debate yeah. <laughs> today yeah. Yeah. and I'm chatting with you guys yeah, mm -hmm. yeah thanks so we really enjoyed having a healthy debate with Yadu about mm -hmm. the meaning of student health and unpacking that. I mean, I feel like we didn't get through all of what it means, mm -hmm. but to carry on the conversation, which I think is really important, um, you can check out our blog on the learningcommons.ubc.ca website and also to develop more skills in managing your health and wellness, mm -hmm. check out the students.ubc.ca website for tips. And also you can go on the to you can go to the wellness center to if you need to inquire for more details about living a healthy life. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>